hey 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 guys and welcome back to my channel so I had one of those moments where I went to dye my hair yet again I have bleached my ends in the past but um after a few months I literally just wanted to chop it all off because the ends just got so dry so <laughs> I just ended up trimming my hair you know just to try and get that color off and so I got the urge again to dye my hair and I didn't want to go through all of that you know having the hair dye damage my hair and then having to chop it all off again so I wanted to try something that wouldn't damage my hair and so I thought why not try out this hair paint wax that I've been seeing around on Instagram and you know on here on YouTube and so in this video I'm going to be reviewing the blue hair wax from Mo for Jang. as you know having natural hair can be quite boring sometimes and I personally get tired of rocking the same hairstyles over and over again and I've always wanted to dye my hair like these outrageous colours and just experiment and have fun with my hair, you know, just to have something different. So I bought a few different colours. In this video, I'm going to be doing the blue. I have red and I have a gold one as well. So I will be reviewing those ones as well, just to see how they come out of my hair because I have really dark hair. I know that ORS have their hair paint waxes, but I can't seem to find their one over here in England. And the only hair wax that I could find on the internet was this Mofajang brand. So I was a bit curious because, you know, I've never heard of the brand before. It's made in China and I was just like, hmm, do I really want to be putting stuff on my hair that might not be made for my hair? You know, like it might damage my hair or make my hair dry or dry out my hair or something like that. So I was a bit curious at first with trying it, but I just thought, I mean, I use all these hair products anyway that are, you know, not they're not black owned or anything like that. And I put my trust in those products. So I just thought, you know, why not? So if you'd like to see how I get on with the product and to see the results, just keep watching. So I started off with washed and conditioned hair and here I am trying out some new products that I've never tried before. And it's the ORS Pearls Unleashed. I'm using the leave-in conditioning cream and I'm using the Curly Coil Rich Style Cream as well. Right, so I'm applying the leave-in conditioner to my hair and then I'm following with the oil and then I'm applying that Rich Style Cream on top. And I was having a bit of trouble with these products because I was having a bit of problem with getting the definition in my hair because I wasn't planning on using a gel at all because I didn't want to, you know, overload my hair with products. So I was just planning on using the, those two products and then the hair wax on top. And the two products, they weren't giving me any definition in my curls at all, right? So I went on top with my Eco Styler gel. I was trying to do something different, trying to use different products to what I've used before so I can possibly give a review on them as well. But um, I wouldn't suggest to overload your hair too much with products because maybe that's the reason why my hair wax had a lot of transfer on my clothes and a lot of it had a little bit of flake in as well. So next time I will try and use less product, maybe just a leave-in and then apply the product, see how I get on with that. But um, my main concern is my hair's health. So I'm always gonna try and at least put in a leave-in conditioner. If I'm not gonna use the oil, at least the leave-in cream. The next hair paint wax video I do, I'll use just the leave-in conditioner just to see if that works better. I wore my hair up more than I did down just because I didn't want that transfer and because it was hot around this time anyway, so. But it, it looks really nice as an updo as well, especially with the ombre effect because my roots were black and then I'll have just the blue on top. And even throughout the week, you know, I personally couldn't see the color because it got faded and faded. It was like a navy blue towards the end of the week. And whenever I go to someone's house or I see someone, they're like, oh, your hair looks nice, it's blue. Your hair's blue. I'd be like, oh yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I'm excited. I've got the red one and the gold one. So I'm excited to see how the red looks on my hair. Nice autumn vibes going on there. So stay tuned for that video. So once I have all the products in, I do the prayer hands and I rake my hair as well. And I'm just clumping my hair all together and then proceeding to shingle my hair afterwards.
Once I'm done shingling, I just smooth my hair all together. And then once I've done that, I'd go ahead and scrunch my head just to bring the curls back in. And then bam, the other side's done, just like that. You know how it goes. And this is what my hair is looking like once all the products are in nice and defined and all that jazz and then I proceed to put the hair paint wax on and here it is it's not a solid blue color it looks like it's got a shimmer to it and the consistency is really thick so I do feel like it will give my hair some sort of definition but I was just hoping that it wouldn't make my hair crunchy yeah I started off with a little bit and then I just saw how it went on and I realised that I would have to put on a fair bit for the colour to saturate my hair. On the camera with the light, it looked more blue, if you get what I mean. In person, it was looking a bit sporadic. I didn't want all of my hair to be blue. I wanted to have like an ombre look. So I just saturated the ends more and then used less and less product towards the root. Yeah, because I'm not... <laughs> It's like even if I was dyeing my hair a different colour, I probably wouldn't do my whole hair a solid colour because I don't know if I would like it. <laughs> but I might try one of them where I do my whole head. But yeah, so I just continue to do that around my whole head, just saturating the ends with the colour and then using less and less as I go up. And it does look a bit white and that's because of the hair products that I put in as well. But you'll see later on that the products dry nicely and the colour also does dry nicely as well. And once I got the gradient look that I wanted, I just went ahead and used whatever was on my hands and brought it up towards my roots a little bit more. And I didn't bother wearing gloves when I was applying the, the hair wax because it's temporary. So I knew it would wash straight off. Well, <laughs> I assumed it would wash off straight away, which it did. Yeah, so this is what my hair's looking like so far. I probably should have put a little bit more at the back, but, um, yeah, I, I like the way it turned out in the end. So I'm just putting my hair up in a pineapple using my satin scrunchie. And then I'm putting my headscarf over on top, just like I would with my normal wash and go. So um, this is the next day now and I've pulled my hair down from the pineapple and I just held it back in that scrunchie just because my hair was getting in my way when I was just doing stuff throughout the day. I wore the same shirt as I did yesterday night when I was doing my hair because I didn't want to dirty up another shirt. I wanted to show you guys the transfer that happened with my hair. So as you can probably see, there's a blue tinge on my shirt just from me having my hair down. And I'm not sure it's because my hair wasn't fully dry at that point. It was about 90% dry hair. And even after it dried fully, it did give me transfer. So I had transfer and I had flakes as well. Not excessively, and the flakes only happened on the first day. But the transfer happened throughout the week, I'd say, because um, anytime I would touch my hair, I would have the blue stain on my hands. Not a lot of colour on my hands, but, you know, I would have to go and wash my hands if I touched my hair because, you know, I would <laughs> touch my wall or something and you don't want that. So um, I would suggest to not wear any bright coloured clothing. Again, it's temporary. It does wash out. The shirt washed out fine. But if you were going out and you wanted to wear this hair wax, yeah, I would think about your hairstyle options. I would either wear it as an updo or something like that. But for me, I didn't mind the transfer because I was just happy with the fact that my hair was blue and I loved it, honestly. I was loving it, loving it, loving it. I will do it again, I will purchase again. And if I can find the ORS hair wax, I will purchase that one as well. As you can see, it did transfer on my scrunchies and it also transferred on my headscarf as well. But that was when my hair was wet still, so I didn't expect it not to transfer. But as the days went on, I saw less and less transfer on my scrunchies and my headscarf. 
I couldn't tell you whether it would transfer on your sheets or whatever because I wasn't going to take that chance and mess up my bedding but I believe it will so I would recommend just to wear your hair scarf at night to prevent that from happening. I do think next time I would use a little bit more of the wax because I thought the blue was going to look like how it looked in the pot but I think that's because I was being light with how much product I used. So in the next video I will also try and use more product to see if it comes out more vibrant. My hair was a little bit crunchy, a bit like how when you put a bit too much gel in your hair and you have to, you know, scrunch that crunch out. But I didn't bother scrunching it out because it wasn't that bad. The crunch does go after a few days as well. And with the flaking, that could be due to the products that I used before I put the wax in. Because even as I was putting those products in, they were giving me these white flakes that I don't usually have. When I usually do my washing, because I don't usually have any sort of flaking. And that's what was happening with these products. I'm not sure. I'm just going to have to review the other colours to see if the flaking happens as well with less product. So yeah, and this is what the wax looks like close up. It isn't... A solid color it's almost shimmery if that's the right word to use like it's not I don't know how to explain it it's not a yeah it's just not a solid blue but on the camera from afar it looks like a solid color but it's not and in person the blue is a lot darker than what it is in the direct light because obviously I have my ring light and my box lights so the light is reflecting on all angles of my hair in natural light it looks more of a darker blue but with the flash on, with lights on, and even outside in the sunlight, it looks more vibrant. So, yeah. But I didn't mind. Either way, the vibrancy, whether it was less or more, I was just happy that my hair was blue. It actually satisfied that want for me to dye my hair. And yeah, I really enjoyed having my hair blue for a minute. <laughs> also, yeah, I'm going to try all the other colours. Blue. <laughs> I might even try grey, you know, try look like Storm from X-Men for a minute. You never know. But yeah, that was my experience with the hair wax. I hope you guys found this useful and I would recommend this product. It didn't dry out my hair or it didn't damage my hair or anything like that. It washed out perfectly fine. But yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below if you've tried any other colours. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see me review the other colours. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!